So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king he will be. The birth of spring had brought with it the first real sign of danger to the high country, the first Brumby hunt. Charlie attempted to warn the Brumbies, but it was Arrow's timely re-arrival to the high country that accidentally saved the day. After that initial excitement, things had settled down. It was a time of growth and the renewing of life. And Charlie's experience had brought about a deeper understanding between himself and his father. Fine day for a stroll, Mew. Oh, most absolutely and categorically, eh? Very fine indeed. Oh! Hmm, only room for one at a time, Mew. Oh, ladies first, eh? After you. Thanks, Mew. You're a real gentleman, as always. I'm back coming through. Out of the way. Uh oh! Ooh. Come on, you two scatterbrains. Back up. Back up. Emus can't walk backwards. Yep! You'll have to back up, Wombat. Are you kidding? Hands up anyone who's ever seen a Wombat walking backwards. Hands up? But emus don't have hands, Wombat. We just have legs. Oh, long legs for running very fast. We're the fastest. <laughs> oh, all right then. Legs up anyone who's seen a Wombat walking backwards. No! <laughs> <laughs> They're right. They are fast. Oh. Oh. What do you two think you're doing? Not trying flying again, are you? <laughs> Why, that looks like... It does, doesn't it? But I don't see how. Oh, well, nor do I, but it couldn't be. Anyone else? But it couldn't be, could it? Very brave Arrow, who went down south and hasn't been seen for a long time and... And shouldn't be here by rights because he's supposed to be down south, but isn't. The same. Oh, Arrow, brave oh. Arrow. Oh, welcome, brave Arrow. Yeah. It's good to be back. So many of my friends have been so kind in their welcome and so keen to hear my stories of great adventures and heroic deeds. <clears throat> so keen to hear my stories of great adventures and heroic deeds. Oh, yes. I indubitably. Tell us of your adventures. Oh, tell us of your great deeds. We're, We're most, most anxious, anxious to, to know. know. Aren't we, Mew? Oh, we certainly are, eh? Oh, well, where to begin? I think it's best if I tell you about the time I saved a beautiful young filly from this cruel, mean stallion. <laughs> I wonder if he's telling them the same stories he told us. Oh, I doubt it. The stories seem to change and get grander with each telling. <laughs> and the truth drifts further away. Let him have his moment, you two. We may never know the truth of what really happened, but Arrow does. Let him sort it out for himself. I don't think things went well for him down south. Nor do I. But it's up to Arrow to tell us when he's ready. 
I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but it's uh, nice to have him back. It is. And nice to see he hasn't changed. Nice? Well, maybe it would be nicer if he changed a bit. I'm inclined to agree with Benny. All right, you two. I'm convinced. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Echidna, you moth-eating excuse for a pin cushion? Oh, you should have seen me. Wombat, you've been kicking up even more fuss than Arrow did when he took off to who knows where. <clears throat> Arrow? Just so happens that we Wombats are much more sensitive souls than you hard-hided Brumbies. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> At least you're doing better than the emus. I'd better see if I can help. <laughs> Stop running, you've nothing to gain. That's no way to stop the pain. Oh, help! It hurts, it hurts! E! Oh, get him out! Down! Oh! Out! There we are. Nothing to it. Echidnas are normally such gentle things, but he's caused so many painful stings. <laughs> That's the way Mighty Brolga breathe the fresh air. Stretch those mighty limbs. Show everyone you're as fast as you ever were. Go ahead and find out what's happened to Arrow. That Dalt's never run so fast in his life. Aye, aye, El Supremo! Oh! Help! <gasps> Whoops! <laughs> Clumsy sod. Now, what have we got here? Ah, ah Carawong! Quick, pull those quills out! Mm, I might think about it. Think about it? You've never felt the pain of being turned into a pincushion, Carawong! I want them out now! Mm, very well, Arrow. But just remember, this is one you owe me. Understood? All right. Yes, understood. <laughs> now get to it. Ouch! <laughs> Ow! 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 <sighs> Much better. Oh, there you go, Charlie. Check out those bits. It was around here that a mate of mine once discovered a large nugget. Just been sitting there for thousands of years, waiting for him to come along and pick it up. Hmm. No such luck this time, Grandad. Nothing here but solid rock. <laughs> yeah, the vast majority of them are like that, Charlie. That's why gold's worth so much. Very rare. Grandad, exactly how much gold have you discovered over the years? Mm, not that much, I'm afraid. I've only found small amounts. Never struck it rich. 
I guess we'll just have to keep on looking. <laughs> Looks like we're not the only ones exploring. Getting a bit late. Come on, Charlie. We'll come back tomorrow, eh? Great. And we were wondering, Mr Echidna... Yes, wondering. Do you realise how much pain can be caused by those things on your back? Did he say anything? Uh, not that I heard. Perhaps we missed it. Oh, perhaps we did. But then we've missed everything he said. Uh, if he said anything at all. Indeed, if he'd said anything at all. Hey, where are we, eh? I have no idea, Mew. Mm, nor I, but I think it's too late to go back. Wherever that is. Mm. <laughs> hey, Wombat, are you at home? Wombat, are you there? What's all the fuss? Who wants something done now? Absolutely nobody. I just wanted to know how you were feeling today. After the echidna business, I mean. I was doing all right. Till you woke me up. Oh, sorry. But it was nice to do something for you for a change. It's usually you saving everybody else. Oh, all right, all right. You know I can't stand hearing that kind of stuff. Credit where it's due, Wombat. I think... <coughs> what was that? Don't know and don't care. I'm going to go and check it out. You would. And good riddance. Ah! Oh, you said that before, eh? Is anything the matter? Why, look! Down there! <gasps> It looks like a... uh... is it a... It's an egg! It's an egg! Oh, well, I didn't lay it. I can't lay eggs. I don't remember laying it. It wasn't me. Uh, well, if you didn't and I can't, how did it get here? Oh, it must have been me. No! <sighs> snake! Snake! Who is going to eat my egg? Panic! Panic! Help! Snake! snake! What's this about an egg? He laid an egg. An egg? Are you sure it's an egg? Sure, we're sure. Oh, we know an emu egg when we see one. Oh, in that case, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Yep, and thanks for scaring off the snake. It was my pleasure. I'll go and tell Benny and Boom Boom. They'll want to hear about this. Well, you do that. Bye, Sarah. Why did he congratulate us? Oh, because he's a very nice Brumby. Perhaps having an egg is something to celebrate. Oh, uh, perhaps it is. We must spread the news. Oh, what about the egg? Who's going to look after it? We can't both go. Oh, we can't. Perhaps the egg is not a good idea after all. It must be. Thara congratulated us. Yes, it must be. I'll stay. I'll go then. Right. You laid an egg, E? Congratulations. That's marvellous. Oh, yes. Congratulations, E. Oh, we're so happy for you, E. Just imagine that. An egg. Um, what exactly is an egg? An egg? You mean to say that you don't know what an egg is? Oh, well, I once heard Wombat say that Arrow is an egghead. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Egghead. Ha, ha. Egghead. Arrow is an egghead. Ha, 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 ha. E. Oh. Back to the question, E. Question? Uh, yes, um, an egg is what babies hatch out of. 
Off to spread the news. Exciting, exceptional, exhilarating news. But do they really have an egg? I think that's the question all of us have been afraid to ask, Boon Boon. I wouldn't mind giving it a shake. I suspect that egg could be a fake. Maybe we should just leave it as the emus see it. But if we just knew someone who had actually seen an emu egg, someone who'd been down to the plains recently. Yes, but who? Hi, guys! <laughs> What's up? Arrow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So, Arrow, what do you think? What do I think? Well, now I can quite positively say without any shadow of a doubt... Mm. I can quite positively say without any shadow of a doubt that this is most definitely an emu egg. Hooray! Hooray! I knew it all along. What makes you so sure, Arrow? Saw lots of them down on the plains, lots of emus and lots of emu eggs. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. What's going on down there? Hmm. Cozy little bunch, I must say. That's a relief. Now we can rest. And now it's time to head back to my nest. <laughs> Bye, Mopo. Well, I'm glad to be of service. I'm off too. I'll see you later, guys. Bye. Ah. Here comes that silly old mopoke. Hey, mopoke. What was going on back there? Why the gathering of the clan? I really don't know why you should care. But in any case, it's none of your affair. Oh, come on now. You can tell me. If it's a secret, I can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a lie. Everyone knows you're the Brolgers spy. Now, oh, all right then. If that's the way you want it. <laughs> That'll teach you, you old mud scrubber. <laughs> Phew. Soft landing. My luck was in. <sighs> ah! uh -huh. oh! ah! Phew. Thank goodness I bounced off something soft. Your head, Arrow. <laughs> what do you mean? You're an egghead, Arrow. <laughs> you're a... Why, you're the sweetest Arrow. My old friend. <laughs> now tell me, what was the gathering about? You know I like to know what's cooking in the high country. That gathering had nothing to do with you, Karawong. It's the emu's personal business. Now just a minute. You owe me. I pulled those echidna quills from your posterior, remember? I just saved your life, remember? We're even. If you think echidna quills hurt, you ain't felt nothing yet. <laughs> All right, Arrow, what's it to be? OK, OK. I'll talk. So what was the gathering about? <laughs> One of the emus laid an egg. I saw it with my own two eyes! Emus laid an egg? <laughs> this I've got to see. What do you think it'll be, Mew? A boy or a girl? Ooh! Haven't even thought about it. Exciting, isn't it? Hmm. The mighty Brolga's not too happy with me at the moment. Bet it would cheer him up if I brought him a souvenir. <laughs> Stop! Thief! Uh, oh! Oh! 
Must be twins. Oh, I'll come back with my egg, you thieving, no good for nothing! Uh, oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. Hi, guys. What you looking at? Oh. Mew, Mew, what's going on? Oh, that no good Karawong just broke our egg. Oh, no. Yes, but just look at what was inside it, a solid gold yolk. Ooh, hey, that's pretty good. Oh, a solid gold yolk. Ooh. Hey, 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 I laid a golden egg. Yes, eh? so you did. That's much better than an ordinary old egg. Everybody should know about this, the dingoes and the wombats. Yep, and everybody else. Let's go! Uh, but... Uh... Listen, everybody, I laid a golden egg. Don't worry, Benny, let them go. But this never was an egg, Thara. It's a geological freak. It's a gold nugget. OK, but there's no need for the emus to know. Let them believe what they want to believe. Yes, what they don't know won't hurt them. Fair enough. But what do we do with this? Animals have no use for gold. Not even the emus. No, we haven't. But I think I know someone who has. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. Time to wake up. There's nothing like a good night's sleep to work up a healthy appetite. <sighs> hey? What's that? Stone the crows. Hey, Charlie. Have a look at this. Solid gold. Where on earth could it have come from? Rumby. A gift, Grandad, from the creatures of the high country to you. A flaming miracle? <laughs> After all these years, I've got a nest egg for me old age. So most were happy. The emus thought E could lay golden eggs. And the prospector had a little something to see him through to a ripe old age. Some others had not fared so well. But the following winter would bring Thara into the strangest twist yet. Quite a few weeks since Baby Wombat had been rescued after his accident with the departing trappers. You can have too much of a good thing, I say. 
And he's had too much of a good thing, that boy of mine. <coughs> There's things to do, places to be seen, food to be eaten. About time he came home, I think. Hey, what? What? What's going on? Ah, get out of it, you bitch. Then a wombat's burrow supposed to be his castle. Wombat had a plan, a surprise for his son. Indeed, the whole family. He was quite excited about it. But of course, being Wombat, he couldn't possibly let on. <laughs> that last try was hopeless, Baby Wombat. Try again. Hey! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do with you, Charlie. Laugh or cry. Sorry, Grandad. Baby Wombat kind of slipped. Looks to me, for a supposedly injured wombat, he was having too much fun. I reckon there's not a lot wrong with him now, Charlie. He's made a good recovery, and we should give him back to the bush. But it's great having him here. He's been fun. Yeah, well, it might be. But you're spending all your time playing instead of doing your chores. And he's getting too used to humans. Not good on either score. Eh? <laughs> well, looks as though the problem might be solved. Right, that's it, sunshine. Nothing wrong with you. Back home. Father, I've missed you so much. Yeah, looks like it. Now, come on. But, but I'm not really better yet. Don't try that one on me. I seen you playing, and if you can play, you can come home. Oh, please, Father. They've been so kind to me and... And what about your own mother and sister? <coughs> they aren't exactly cruel, are they? Mum? Oh, well, why, of course not. I just thought of... You just sort of forgot about them, didn't you? Pining away, wondering... If they'd ever see you again. I'm sorry. I missed them too. Right then. Move out. Baby Wombat! Leave him be, Charlie. His father knows what's best. We've done our bit. Yeah. Guess you're right, Grandad. Don't dawdle. Don't dawdle. What's the hurry? Well, if you must know, we're going away. Away? On a holiday. To visit our cousins up north. Get you away from them humans. And me away from all those pesky brumbies and nosy emus. Oh, yes, the sun is shining bright and my heart is feeling light. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Hmm. Wombat's got his pesky kid back from the humans. It's a shame they didn't nab the old man as well. Hold it. Oof! I said hold it. Don't you hear nothing? But you said don't dawdle. Don't answer back. Now, pay attention. This log is covered in moss. It's long and slippery. I'll go first, and when I get to the other side, you follow. <laughs> Here's my chance for a bit of fun. <laughs> Oh, oh. 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 
Typical, typical. Typical, typical, typical. Typical, typical, typical. Right. Everybody, into line. Our northern cousins are awaiting our arrival. <laughs> And we have a considerable distance to travel. So keep close, don't grumble, keep your eyes open for any tucker, and follow me. And good riddance to bad rubbish. If I were standing a bit further away, I couldn't see you. I'd think you were just part of the trees. Well, that's the secret, Eurala. If you don't want to be found by a creature who's after you, or if you want to creep up on a creature without being seen, you've got to look for cover that you can blend into. And move silently. <laughs> and move silently. You're learning well. Oh, thanks, Thaura. It's important to learn the tricks of the bush. My father, the mighty Yarraman, was the bravest and strongest king of the Cascade Brumbies. I watched him and learned. And my mother, Belle Belle, was wise and knew the ways of the high country better than any other Brumby I've known. Gee, I'm lucky having such a good teacher, aren't I? <laughs> I guess you are. But only because I was willing to learn. Oh, so am I. Well, of course you are. But it takes time. Oh, I know, Thaura. But I really want to learn. Ow! Out of the way. Out of the way. Come on, move it. Out of the way. And another thing that's important to remember, Eurala, is that while there are lots of wombats, <laughs> there's only one wombat. Oh, I heard that. Where are you off to, wombat? North, to get away from the flattery and the useless creatures that spend their whole lives getting in me way. <laughs> Have a good journey, then. Mm, I don't want one. I just want a holiday. Let's find a spot for some camouflage practice. But is it enough news? Uh, enough? Satisfaction, enjoyment, sense of fulfilment. Ah! Oh, you mean life? Our lives? Yes, I think so. You? Yes. Well, maybe. Perhaps. Right, then. Ish. Well, we should do more. Perhaps. <laughs> Out of the way. Wombats coming through. Wombats coming through. Oh, hello, Wombat. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Small world. Oh, you try to take a shortcut round the cliff face to avoid traffic jams and you run into two galumphing gossips. Block on the way. Out of the way. Get out of the way. I fear that might be difficult. Oh, possibly impossible. Can't even get away on a holiday without someone making life difficult. And nothing's impossible. Oh, but you see, Wombat, emus can't walk backwards. Oh, and there certainly isn't room to turn around. Oh, you're blocking me holiday. Get out of the way. A holiday? How wonderful. Tell us all about it. Can't, shan't and won't. No time for a chat. You two feather brains are supposed to be birds, so start flying. Oh, but we've been through this before. Emus don't fly. Just ask Mopoke. He says we're short of long wings, uh, aerodynamics and other things. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I simply don't believe it. Righto, family. Forward. <laughs> What do you know? <laughs> Emus can't fly. We're on a holiday. We're on a holiday. Very, very, very far, far away. away. -la 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 -la. <laughs> no singing. Oh, Dad. Are we there yet? No, we're not. 
Now just be quiet and enjoy the trip. It's very educational. How? It just is, that's all. <laughs> See? Told you. There's a mopoke. What's educational about a mopoke? Quite a lot, as you should know. My knowledge is portfolio. Oh, oh, oh no, not that mopoke. Would you like a little tip? How to make time pass on your trip? Oh, yes, please, mopoke. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> this is my holiday, mopoke, not yours. And I'll tell them what to do. With lively eyes, just look around. There's many wonders to be found. Your spirits will soar to magnificent heights as you absorb the wonders of nature's delights. Thanks, my poke. There's too much talking, and talking's not allowed on holidays. Nasty, mean, and often crude. That wombat's now just far too rude. <laughs> hey, what, what, what? Mm. What funny-looking ants? Ants. Ants, did I say? Ah! Wombats. The whole family. What are they doing this far from home? <laughs> My dear friend, as I live and breathe, what brings you and your charming family to this neck of the woods? Friend, you think I don't remember that slippery log? That? Ah, oh, that was all a misunderstanding. I thought I saw a flea on your back and... Flea? The only flea around here is the one you have in your head, flea brain. Naturally, one is interested in the activities of one's friends, and I was simply curious that... <laughs> Revenge! I'll get those wombats back somehow. Huh? Now what have we here? Ah, a strange filly, a newcomer to the high country. Oh, the Brolga will certainly want to know about that. Ah! This would be right. This would be right. One more ridge after this one, and we'll be there. <coughs> oh. uh, uh, haven't we been here before, Father? Been here before? What are you talking about? You've never visited the cousins before. Yeah, uh, but that pond... Nonsense! Lots of ponds look like that. I... I... <coughs> Well, well done, Baby Wombat. Well spotted. That's just a little trick of mine to see how observant you all are. <laughs> oh, be quiet, you empty-headed egghead. <laughs> right. Follow me. Bralga. Spicy gossip. Eh? Strangers have entered your territory. Strangers? Who and what? Vicious, cruel wombats, Mercurial Magnificence. A whole family of them. Vicious, cruel... What are you talking about, Karawong? Since when have wombats been vicious and cruel? These are, sire, I assure you. You must crush the living daylights out of them with your mighty hooves. I'm beginning to smell a carawong. 
Rat, I mean rat, Karawong. Do you owe them something you don't want to pay back? Oh, 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 oh no, mighty sire. I promise you, they're evil and mean and... <laughs> Don't waste my time with your personal vendettas, Karawong. If that's all you've got to say. Uh, but, 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 there, 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 there's the other stranger, sire. Huh? Other stranger? <laughs> A young Brumby, mighty Brolga. Oh, an ideal candidate for your herd. A young Brumby, eh? And you waste my time with rubbish about wombats? Lead the way! Uh, aye, 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 Elka. Fintana. <laughs> Uh -oh. A stranger seems to have come to stay, mainly because she has lost her way. <clears throat> her spirits are looking pretty low. I have a feeling Laura should know. <laughs> yeah, that'll be right. Another Brumby, another traffic jam. I'm very sorry, Wombat. I'm very tired and weary, and I didn't expect a family of Wombats to come along. Well, well, you should have. I've come such a long way, from the south, and uh, I'm a little lost. So are we. We are not. Is the south a long way? About four days gallop. Four days gallop? Now that is lost. Why don't you go back south and stop bothering us? Can't help you. I don't want to go back south. I'm searching for my lost brother. My father, the great Paleface, is sick, so he sent me to find the wise old kangaroo, Benny, who he was sure would be able to help me. Benny? Oh, we could help her find Benny, couldn't we, Father? No. We're on holidays. We're... I'd be very, very grateful for your help. Oh, go on, Father. She really needs our help. Please. Oh, all right. <clears throat> there you go. Taking advantage of me soft heart once again. <clears throat> but we'll help young... young... Gunda. Yes, young Gunda to find Benny. Who needs a holiday anyway? Thank you, Wombat. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, the Brolga. Run for your life. Righto, family. Follow me. Go, mighty Bralga! Go! The brolg is now in on the chase. Thaura! <laughs> What's keeping you, Brolga? Getting too old for a good chase. This time, Thaura, you've gone too far. I am the king of the Cascade Brumbies. I have no time for your impertinence. And I have no time for bluster and bullying of innocent strangers. What? Who are you? Smarted yourself this time, Thaura. You're not powerful enough to beat me, and you're never gonna get the chance. 
It's a long way to the bottom of that cliff. Prepare yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the mighty Browner get to? <laughs> Wombat, you're a real friend. Not that hell. You brumbies have spoiled me, Holiday. <laughs> oh. A big welcome home to Wombat, a real hero. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, well, that does it. Too much noise. Right, family, follow me. Bye, Wombat. At least I got to meet you, unlike the legendary Thara. Bye, Wombat. And you're a legend in your own time, too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> So some creatures of the high country had learnt a lesson. Despite Wombat's gruff facade, he was a brave and trusted friend. And the holiday had another good result. Gunda had certainly come to the right place to get help finding her lost brother.